testament to God's love for us all. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You give that back. That way. Thanks for the help, friend. What are you all fucked up for? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! That's enough. Come here. Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was going to show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Coin, please. Please. Won't 
you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Uh. Uh. How are you? robbed who by a bunch of children <laughs> i won't inquire anymore but i found mr bronte seems to be some italian mr big in town everybody knows him but nobody wants to talk about him apparently lives in a big house on flavian street opposite the park huh. good work so what now we go pay him a visit i'll get john you meet us there Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of... Parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Morning, friend. Back awful soon. Good morning, dear. Good morning, friend. Excuse me. Easy now. I swear this word. 
work will aid you years by the week. Yes, yes, I agree. Morning to you, partner. Morning. Hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Good morning, mister. I am dying of thirst over here. <laughs> How's it going? Yaolo, yaoko, igamla. Have pit. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Come to finish the bottle, are we? Morning to you. Hello. How are you, good dog? Take care. Hello? Hey! Wake the hell up. No need for that. You drunk or something? <coughs> That's what I thought. What's wrong with you? Keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? 
Got an idea of what you want? Now that isn't half bad, huh? That's, uh, looks pretty good. Please, tell your friends about us. All right, you know where Como I am. How are you? Okay, boy. Let's go. Listen to me, friends. This book, this precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise, I have written it for you so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'm a philanthropist, an American philanthropist. I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and supercilious, not street urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money. It's all right here. Let's go, boy. What let your grandma? To let women vote. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. There, sir. Quite the my dear. Sure you got oh, come on, can you quit bothering me? What the What's hell is wrong with you? Okay, boy. Yep.
Welcome back. Ready for a clean slate? <laughs> Thanks, partner. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Ah! You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers 
It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the barest woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. Things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figured the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! Stop riding like a damn fool! That was
Someone's here somewhere. Come on. to drink. Our friend died. They can hear us, you know. Let's go win. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the get in cover and we'll bust the door in. I hear something in there. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it.
That's all we need. We gotta lose them, Morgan. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it.
So, you were saying? Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. See you, Jack. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack! 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 How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. 
Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Dutch and Arthur. The old guards. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. Hi, Mary Beth. We did it, Mr. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. No stopping you, Karen. You better claim it. Just save some for the rest of us. <laughs> Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? Mr. Bell? I'll tell you boys about the That's time I was raised, I hear. Oh. Yes, more your stuff. <laughs> tell us again. Sure. You all right, Charles? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Taking it all in. Sure, he's good to have a kid, I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Get some drinks down. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. 
Good to see Come you on. smiling again, Abigail. Let's leave him to play a minute. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I missed that little rascal. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Speak soon. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. Okay. <laughs> you okay, Pearson? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're in a good mood. I think mean, it plays good, don't it? He sure does. Nobody ever gonna take well, him let's have a good night. We deserve one. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. Man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur, some folks change. And others is just too dumb. How's it going? Come on along now, Jack. It's time for bed. Glad to hear it. Say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Don't stay up too late. You okay, Jack? Yes. A little tired. Yeah. You should go to sleep soon. See? See? what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. 
We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. She okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Would you go ride an Abigail up? I wouldn't dream of it. Just let her have this moment. 